I've shared with you a very important type of link building. And this is actually completely within your control. And what I'm talking about is internal link building. So if you have not been working on internal link building for your own sites or even your client sites, this is something you absolutely need to pay attention to. And why? Well, because if you focus just on internal link building, that alone can help boost the pages that you're working on ranking up a few spots or even more. So there's a couple of things that we need to do here. One, we need to be able to go back and we need to look at all of the old posts that already exist on a website. And we need to be able to add internal links, which is simply linking from one page or post on your website to another page or post on your own website again. And the idea here is that these internal links are going to help give those older pages a boost that they need. Now, the second thing we need to put in place is we need to make sure that we have a process be it one that is fast and easy so that we can easily create these new internal links as we create new content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a very fast, easy, and very effective way that you can do this. So you're not really going to have to put much thought into this, but you still make sure that it gets done. Now, if you're using an SEO plugin like Rank Math, which I have recommended here, this is gonna work really nicely together. You're gonna to be able to pull all kinds of insights and data in from Google Search Console if you want to. You'll have link reports at your hand. So you're very quickly going to be able to know what needs your attention. And then as you correct it in just a minute of your time, you'll be able to start to monitor the results and see the impact that this makes for your site. So the tool that I'm gonna share with you that we're gonna to use to do this is called Link Whisper. Link Whisper uses artificial intelligence to automatically recommend internal links for your website as you are writing the content. It's going to give you automatic suggestions for your older posts. It's gonna make sure that you don't have posts that are just floating out there that don't have any internal links. So I'm gonna show you how to actually go in, get this set up in just a few minutes, how to actually use this as you create your posts, how to use it for your older posts, and we'll look at a way that I don't recommend that you use it as well. So let's have a look. Now you'll notice over on the left-hand navigation bar under Link Whisper, it says complete install. So this is actually an, an important step, and this is that we have to run a link scan. So this is actually going to go through all of the content that is on your website, and it's going to scan them for links and then come back with information on that for you. So what we need to do is go ahead and click this button that says run link scan. Now this may take a couple of minutes to do, really just depending on the amount of content that you have on your website, how much it is going to need to scan, but make sure just to leave this window open. And I'm gonna pause here just to allow it to run since this website does have hundreds and hundreds of posts on it. And then we'll come back and take a look. Now, even with hundreds of posts, this literally took about one minute to run and we are now complete here. So now you can see our dashboard looks quite a bit different, and this is where we're gonna get a lot of great information. So this is telling us that 965 posts have been crawled. So that's about the right number for about the 930-ish that have been published and adding in the draft posts as well. So we have found over 4,000 links. And as you can see here, it tells us we have 894 of those. So less than a quarter are actually internal links. And there are 710 posts that are saying that they are orphan posts. That is an extremely high number. And that means that those orphan posts are isolated. They are not linked to from any other post on the website. So that is definitely a problem. So as you can see here, we have a nice graph. So it's showing us that uh, over 3,100 of the links that were found to go to an external website where we have 894, about 22% of the posts or other links, excuse me, are internal links. So if we have about 900 and it was about 30 that are actively published posts, 
we only have 894 internal links. So that is definitely off and that's something that we need to fix. But that's good news. That is why this is great to see because this is going to allow us to get in to fix those links, to add them in. And we should start seeing a boost to some of this traffic in the coming weeks, uh, the boost in the rankings and therefore the traffic coming in. So this is showing us the domains that are most linked to. So what we can do is for any of these, we can just click through and then we can gather more information on these. So now with the plugin installed, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how we can actually use these internal links with all of the existing posts that we have. And whether or not you've been playing around with internal links, I think you're going to be really surprised at just how many opportunities that exist that you're missing out on. Internal links is something that I pay attention to and I work on as I create content for various sites. And I am still surprised at how much I'm actually missing because I cannot remember every single post. Sometimes I'll do searches for content, but maybe I've used the wrong keywords in my search, so it doesn't come up. And especially as you start working on larger and larger sites with more content, you really start to miss out on some of the opportunities here. So let's just take a look here. We'll pick a random post. We can see here in the right-hand column for this second post we have here that there are three inbound internal links. Links. So there's three other pieces of content coming in and pointing to this. This piece of content has three outbound internal links. So this piece of content is linking to three other posts on our website. And then there's one external link. So that is linking to a third party website. So this gives us a quick glance. So if we look at the very first one, we can say, okay, this is a newly published content, has a lot of external links, but there's no internal links that have been built. So that's something we need to work on. So let's take a look at this second one and we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom of the post just below the post where it says link whisper suggested links here. Now this is where we're going to work on two things. We're going to look at the internal outbound links. So what post is this particular post linking to on our website. So we're working on this post and we want to come up with other links that we can link to other posts on our website. And then we have the inbound link. So what other post do we have that's linking to this post that we're working on right now? So those are the two things we want to do. Let's start with the first one. We're automatically going to start with adding the internal outbound links. That's what you're going to see here to start. So what this is going to do is give us a couple of columns. One, on the left hand side, this is going to give us an example part of the content above and it's going to show us a link. So here we see that they have a link for farmers market. And then here they've given us an example of a post that we can link to when it says farmers market. So we can look and say, okay, is this a piece of content that I'm working on ranking? And we can also click on this little drop down here and we can look for other pieces of content. So as we scroll down, we see that there's some different titles and this is a newer piece of content, the one that was listed first. So what we're going to do is we're going to link to that. And then we will click on the check mark here. And what happens is now when we go, we can click on insert links into post. So when we click that, the post has been updated. And if we go look above, it is automatically added in that link above. So here you see that we have the link has successfully been added here and it actually took us right here to this link. So now we have this farmer's market link and it takes us to that post. So now we can go back down again and we can go ahead and look at all of the different options here. So if you want to do multiple ones, you just check those all at the same time and then you click the same button again and it'll just add all of them. Now, once you add these links here, they're permanent. Even if you decide Decide that you no longer want to use Link Whisper a year, two years from now, and you uninstall the plugin, you delete it. It doesn't matter. Those links are always going to stay there unless you go back in and you choose to remove those. So it's good to know that you're never going to lose those just because of the plugin. Now, the second piece that we want to look at is adding inbound links. So now let's say this is a newer piece of content. We want to go find other posts on our website that can now link to this piece of content. So to do that, we're going to click add inbound links. Now it takes just a moment literally to generate some more ideas for us. 
So what we're going to do is we'll scroll down here. We'll see what it has come up with for us. So now what we see here is a phrase from another post, and this is going to link to the post that we are working on now. So what you can do is you can look at the suggested link. If you wanted to use another word, for example, you can simply double click on that word and it will highlight that word to link to instead. And also clicking down here, it's also going to give you some other options of you not a fan of the first one or you don't want to edit it because for example you can always click here to edit you can change what the text says if you want to you can change the link here but if you wanted to have some more suggestions for this section then you'll be able to get those right here as well or you can continue scrolling down if let's say that's not a post that you want to link to this new post from so we can scroll down and look at any of these. So let's say this is one of the ones we wanted. We will click on this check mark here. Again, you can check all of them. You can check just two or three of them, whatever really matches. But again, this is not just for SEO purposes. We obviously want to boost our rankings, but this is also about the visitors too. So you want to make sure that your links are relevant and it's going to make sense for them to click through and get more information wherever they're going to be sent. So we'll come back up and we'll click on add links. And just like that, the link has now been added and we're done there. So we can click OK. And if we want to go in and add any more, we can certainly do that now. But that is how easy it is to go in and find these links and be able to quickly customize them if you even need to or want to. And then you are done updating those. So this is where we can go back to the main post list and we can see how many outbound external links, how many outbound internal links and internal links exist for each post. That way we can see which ones are missing out. So that is something that's very important to do. But another way to go about this is to take a look at some of the reports that Link Whisper gives us. So let's do that. So what we'll do now is we're going to come over here to the left-hand navigation bar, and you'll see that there are a number of options here. We're going to start with reports. And as you can see, there's already a lot of information here. We can see how many posts they have crawled. So with this number, just because I've taken a look at the number of posts, I know that this is including both published and posts that are set up as a draft right now. There have been over 4,000 links that have been found during the link scan here but only 897 internal links exist. So if you think about that, that is less than one internal link for every post that has been created. So that definitely tells us that we have some work to do, which brings us to the next step, which is orphan posts. Orphan posts are posts that exist on your website, but no other page anywhere is linking to them. And out of 964, seven, over 700 posts are orphan posts. So that is definitely a problem. And doing that is really going to help give those orphan posts a boost. It's going to help Google to be able to crawl those. So it's extremely important. No broken links, no 404 errors. That is good. But what we can do here is actually, let me show you just a couple more things here. We can see the most linked to domains. And we can also see the difference between the internal and external links. So what that ratio is. So out of the 4,000 plus links that were found, only 897 or 22% of those links are actually internal links. So it looks like the content does a good job of linking out to third-party sites, which is important and we do want to do, but we need to make sure we really bump up these internal links here a lot. So we can come back up here and we can go through the different tabs part, but we can also click on these. So my interest right now is orphan posts. Why are there so many posts that are not connected to anything else? And now we can take a look at these posts and see we have the title here and we can see there are no inbound internal links. No other posts on the website are linking to this particular post. There are no outbound internal links. So the post is not linking to any other post on the site and there's not even an external link. So that's something that we definitely want to take a look at here. So we can go ahead and add some real quick here and by clicking on this add link. And in doing so, that is going to take us right back to that internal inbound link report that we looked at just a minute ago when we are looking at the existing post. We'll be able to select from the suggestions, edit those if we want to, and we have the internal links. 
Now let's look at a few other things. We have over here the auto linking section. Now the way that this works is you can type in a keyword here and you can add a link. And what this will do is create an auto link rule so that any time that particular keyword is found on your website, it will automatically create a permanent link for it to that other post on your website. Personally, I do not use this feature. I do not want it to auto link. I at least want to be able to take a look at what the options are. I want to make sure that the keywords are varied a bit. And so that's why I don't choose to use this. So I love, love, love Link Whisper. I love all of the internal link features. I love that it can help me identify all of these opportunities very quickly. It can help me see what posts that I'm completely missing, what opportunities exist. But this is the one piece of it that I personally choose not to use. Now, you also have target keywords. And target keywords, this is going to show you all of the active keywords for each of your posts. So if you have a, an SEO plugin that you're using, like Rank Math, for instance, then you're going to be able to put in your active keyword there, and that's going to help give you some recommendations. That's something we've looked at uh, previously, which I'll link to below as well. But if you have an active keyword, then it's going to appear here. So because you're telling Link Whisper, I'm trying to rank this post for this particular keyword, it's going to help find better suggestions for you. So I do recommend that you put in an active keyword there. Now, going back down to some of our options here, we have a URL changer. And let's say that you want to change a particular URL on your website. You're going to put in the old URL here, and then you put in the new one. So let's say you had an about page, just making it up in a basic example here. And it was yourdomain.com forward slash about dash us. But now instead of having the dash us at the end, you want it to just be slash about. So you would make that change here and add the URL. What it's going to do is going to go through your site, try to find any of the links that exist on the website that have the about-us URL and replace it now with the new one. So that's really helpful so you don't have to go through your entire site, try to find those, wait until you have errors that pop up broken links. You'll be able to do that here. Now, lastly, we have settings. So settings is something actually you can choose not to touch at all. You don't have to go in and set up any of the, the settings in order to have Link Whisper work the way that it should. So most people can just leave this completely alone. However, if you've watched any of my tutorials before, you know that I want you to know the ins and outs of every tool that you use. We so really are able to get the most out of it. So with that being said, there are some settings, especially as you start getting into the reports, you start using those. If you really want to customize those so that they're, they're more helpful for you or they're, they operate a little bit differently, that's where going into the settings can really help. So let's take a look at those. The first one here is for Link Whisper to open internal links in a new tab. So typically what is standard is that all internal links that go from one post on your website to another are always going to open in the same tab. So I leave that off. The second option though is for external links. And typically you want those to open in a new tab. So it is separate from your website. People don't accidentally lose your website when they're going to a third party site. So we will select yes for that. Now moving down here, this is where we can ask them to ignore specific numbers. And then you'll see many words here as well. Now, the reason for this is that it is looking at numbers. It is looking at all the words within your content, within your titles as well, in order to make specific recommendations for internal links. But if you're finding a particular post or set of posts that are continually coming up, it may be because they have specific words. So if you want to remove some of those words here so that they are ignored, you can do that. And so here you can see there's a lot of the basic words that we might end up using a lot in many different posts, but they're not really going to help the plugin see what is relevant. So we're going to ignore all of these here. So I'm going to leave those with the default, which is good. Now, what type of content do you want to link to? Typically, we're going to be linking to posts and to pages here. For this site, we're only going to be worrying about posts but do you want to link to any media such as images, for example, and anything else that is specific to your site right here. 
Now, next up, we have term type. So let's say you want to have internal links to specific categories. You can turn that on or anything else. Now, yours may look a little bit different. Again, this is based on some different plugins and information that it can be linked to. So if your list doesn't look just like mine, it's just because of the plugins that are being used or even the themes. And post statuses. So this is, do you want them to recommend links? or any posts that are not published. So if you want them to suggest links for private posts, any that are scheduled or are in draft mode, you can enable those. But we want to have active links, so we're gonna keep this as published here. Now, a number of sentences to skip. So at the beginning of a new post, you're gonna have a number of sentences. So how many sentences, or you can change this here to paragraphs, do you want them to skip and not suggest internal links? So let's say that you do not want any internal link suggestions for the first paragraph of a post. You'll simply make sure this is set to paragraphs and then we're gonna select one right here. Now, if you want to have a limit to the number of external links, outbound links, as well as internal links, then you can select a specific maximum number or you can leave it set to no limit, which is the default. So all this means is if you say, I don't want any more, let's say inbound links than 16, that is your number, then once you get to that many links, Link Whisper is no longer going to make recommendations to you. So we'll set this as no default, and then this is gonna let us decide on a page by page basis. So we don't have to take their recommendation just because they're giving it to us, as you'll see here in a moment. Now, what I haven't mentioned is as you're going down through all these settings, you're noticing all of these question marks here. So if you're ever not sure what one of the settings means, you can just hover over this question mark. So we have this one, add destination post title to the links. You're like, what does this mean? Well, this is gonna give us a description. Checking this will tell Link Whisper to insert the title of the post it's linking to in the links title attribute. And then this gives more information about what it will allow the user to see. So it's gonna allow the users to mouse over links to see what post is being linked to. So it'll give them more information more before they have to actually click through. Now, if you have a site that is really old or it has much older content, if you do not want them to suggest links that are, let's say, 10 years old, you can put a max on that as well. And we'll click save settings. So now let's go on to content ignoring. And just as this section sounds, if there is any content that you want to be ignored, you do not want that content to be put as a recommendation, then this is where you're going to come put that URL. So this is saying don't show ignored posts in the report. So anything that is put in these ignored posts, if you don't want those to show up in your link reports, as we'll take a look at, you can enable that here. But if you would still like to see the information, you can do that. So here we have posts to be ignored for suggestions. Again, any one that is specific, you're simply gonna pop the URL into this box. Any specific categories that you do not want them to take a look at in terms of recommendations that they'll pull from in, in terms of certain categories. Posts to be ignored, so they have an auto linking feature, which we'll talk about. Uh, we'll be looking at orphan post report. So all of these. So this is something, again, you can come back and make changes to. You don't have to fill this out from the get-go. So I don't have anything that I want to have ignored at this time. But as we start seeing recommendations, we want to make changes. We want to make sure that the recommendations they're giving us are the best. This is where we're really going to come back and edit some of the settings here. So let's look at the advanced settings. Now the advanced section, I typically would just say, leave this as is. And then as you get into working on your internal links, you start looking more and more at the reports. If you start seeing that you want those to look a little bit different, you wanna see some different information, this is where you can come back and go into advanced settings and see what you can change here. So this is, if you wanna put in specific outbound link recommendations here, you can do that. So that way they'll only pull from these. Or if you work with specific domains that sponsor your site content so you want them to be marked as sponsored as they should you can do that so as you can see there's a lot of different settings we don't need to go through all of these what i would recommend though is if you scroll down this does give you an option here to connect your google search console account you can authorize link whisper to 
be able to pull the data and insights that come from your account, and they're going to add that into your report. So that is helpful. It just gets everything right here in one place that you can see. So that is always a good idea. Now you'll notice here that we have target keyword sources. So this is saying where are we going to pull the keywords from? If you do have an SEO plugin that is being used, it'll be listed here. This has Yoast, but you can also use Rank Math, which is one of my favorite SEO plugins that I recommend. And so you'll be able to pull from that directly right here as well. So these are all of these different settings, but again, you don't have to go through all of these right here. So now in just a, there's a very short amount of time, you are going to be this much better at creating internal links. This is the link building that you have complete control over. And this really can make a difference in not only your rankings, but then therefore the traffic and revenue coming into your site. So if you are not paying attention to those internal links, go do something about it now. Start incorporating that into your process because this is really one of the easy things that you can do to help your SEO. If you have any questions about Link Whisper or about internal linking, don't hesitate to drop a comment down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.